So here we are, a 7 slash 1.65 millimeter hook. And just regular floss. Start with your slip stitch. And this is going to be impossible to see. I'm sorry. <laughs> and chain four. You'll slip stitch right back into your first chain, creating a loop. And your first row will be eight single crochet. I like to grab my tail and tuck it in so I can pull on it later and tighten down my first row. That's why I'm doing it in tan because you can't see nothing on the black. <laughs> So, eight single crochet. I will let you watch me murder my fingers on this first one. And then from now forward, I will just tell you what you're doing on the road and I'll meet you back around. Now, instead of using a pen to mark where you are, I'd probably use like a, another colored piece of floss because it's pretty tiny and it's a pain in the butt to get in there and sometimes an extra needle will get in your way. So I like to work in the round so after eight single crochet I won't do nothing but just jump right to the next one. So on your eighth one would probably be where you'd want to put your stitch marker or your piece of floss. Or you, you could put in a slip stitch and then chain one, blah, blah, blah. But I like the way you work in the round because it hides any line that you would get. So next round, you're going to be putting two single crochet in each. So this will make 16. So we'll put two in each all the way around. I'll not let you watch me murder my fingers while you murder yours. Do it on your own time. <laughs> so we'll do two in each and I'll meet you back at the beginning. So round three. We're going to continue to increase. So you'll have one single crochet in the first one and two single crochet in the next. So this is where you'd be pulling out your little marker. So one in the first, two in the next. Now this hat pattern will work with a larger hook. So if you want to upscale it and make it a little bit bigger so it's not as hard on you, fantastic. <laughs> it will work. You could probably even up the yarn and use a sports yarn. But it will be a little bit bigger. So here we are on round four. We did one increase on the last one. We did one in the first one, two in the second. So actually, you're finished with the top of your hat. <laughs> yes, it's that small. You could go bigger. But then again, you'd want to do two single, and then the next one you'd want to do an increase. But we're going to end here. 
We're going to do one single crochet in each, but only in the back loop. I like to do this because it gives a, a nice crisp finished look to the top and keeps it kind of flat. And then you'll have that nice abrupt line showing where the top and the side of the hat is. I also like it because it kind of pushes down the sides of the hat. You notice there, kind of squares it off. So one single crochet in each and I'll meet you back around. So here we are. If you notice that crisp line won't line up at the back, it's okay. <laughs> No one will notice. I swear it's that small. No one's going to notice. So now we're going to do our first decrease. Three single crochet in the first three. And then you'll decrease in the next two. So three single crochet. You go into your first loop. Pull through. Go into the next loop. Pull through and make your single crochet making two into one this will make the top big and it'll taper in giving it the mad hatter look so three single and then one decrease and a decrease and there we are and so you'll continue around you'll have four decreases in this round it's it's not going to add up mine never do <laughs> but as close as you can get and row six so i got four decreases Since I don't use a stitch marker and I winged it a little off, but it's all right. It looks good. Now we're going to do six plain rows all the way down. This will give you the top of the hat. Now, if you wanted a Lincoln hat, you wouldn't put those decreases in and you just go single crochet all the way down. Now it doesn't have to be that tall either. If you only wanted to go half the amount, you could make a shorter hat. And many people did wear the shorter hats. So what's six rounds and I'll meet you back here. And here we are back at row 12 after six rounds. You should have something resembling this. <laughs> and now we'll be starting on the rim of the hat. Brim, rim, something like that. And I give the brim its shape by just curling in the edges and pushing down the front and back. So one single crochet in the next and two in the next. So one single crochet in the first loop a single crochet in the next loop and two in the in the next one So one in the first, one in the next, 
and then two in the same loop. And this will help your hat start to flatten out and get wider. So continue this around and I'll meet you at the end for row 13. See, I mean, you'll start to see it curling a little bit coming on up. Here we are, row 13. You notice your hat's starting to curl out and get a brim. So one single crochet in each. Now if you wanted to, you could increase again, but then that means you do three single crochet and then you would double up in the next. If you wanted a huge rim, but I'm going to go to a single crochet all the way around and I'll meet you back here and show you how to curl and finish off the hat. So here we are. Oh, I happen to grab the one short thing of floss I had. Just made it. So I slip stitch to make it look a little more rounded on the edge. And tuck that in. So what I'll do is I curl with my fingers, kind of shape it. Curl up on both sides and then push down the front and the back. And there you have it, your top hat. Let me show you what it looks like. And contrast and compare. And his bulbous head. <laughs> and here we are. Hope you enjoy. Tip of the hat.